around this afternoon. In any case, the police have made the point. We take this opportunity to thank Kenyans for taking up our call to fight for ourselves. This struggle is not about Azimio or any party in particular. This is, no, is now about Kenyans refusing to move on until they get a good deal. We agree with them. This time around, there's no moving on until Ruto shows a readiness to listen to and respect the people. People deserve a deal, not bullets and tear gas. Kenyans clearly understand that if they let Ruto get away with his present display of disrespect, dictatorship and contempt for people, will try to get away with many other bad things. Kenyans understand that suffering will be the new normal if Ruto gets away with the Finance Act and the many other dictatorial political and policy decisions he's currently pursuing. So there is no moving on until Ruto comes out openly and agrees to repeal the Finance Act and embarks on other measures to lower the cost of living. There is no moving on until Ruto comes out loud and clear with the need to have a bipartisan reconstitution of IBC, reinstatement of the, the, the fired IBC commissioners, until he commits to respect and stops interfering with other political parties. The fight for multi-party and a new constitution was so painful, so deadly, and so costly that it could not have been in vain. We did not fight for a new constitution and multi-party only for Ruto to take us back to the 1980s. Kenyans will not accept it. It will be trial by fire many times, but we have been through trial by fire before. So we soldier on. As Kenyans, you have a duty to liberate ourselves as we have always done. It has never been easy. It will not be easy, but it has to be done. <laughs> With the unity and commitment, we will force Ruto to give Kenyans a good deal. We will shortly communicate the third wave and the next course of action. With the unity, we shall overcome. <laughs> Any question? I think the statement is uh, elaborate and uh,